In this episode, I'm going to show you how you can record Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 on a PC. So let's get started. There's some free software I'm going to get you to install. And after that, we can set it up and get you running so you're recording your screen. So this is actually good quality software that you're using. It's called OBS. This is what a lot of people use. Tons and tons of people use OBS. So what you want to do is go to obsprojects.com and you're going to come here, click on Windows if that's what you're running. I would assume if you're running Flight Sim 2020, you probably are running Windows. So click on that, let it install. If you're running on a Mac, you're going to want to go with the Mac version. Obviously, you're running X-Plane. Maybe that's what you're using and just go through the installation and I'll see you in OBS. First, you're gonna come up here to settings, go under the output tab and move over to recording. Now come in here and we're gonna add in a recording path. So for me, I have mine set up under OBS recordings on my E drive. So you can set yours wherever you want, just make sure you have a lot of room on that drive. Recording format, you can go MP4, or MKV. MKV will allow you to recover a file if your computer crashes, whereas MP4 won't allow you to recover that file. Both of them will allow multiple audio tracks. Downside to using MKV is that you're gonna have to use a feature on OBS called Remux to change that MKV file to an MP4 file. Next, we're gonna check off number two and number three on here. If you're not streaming, you could actually use one and two, but I like to have two and three just in case I wanna do some streaming, I have this set up as one. If you go back to your streaming tab quick, you can set this as audio track one, and then that leaves the two and three available for recording. Next, come down here to encoder. You're gonna change this, if you can. You're gonna change it to NVIDIA, or you may have an AMD option. That's gonna be your best bet. This is gonna use your graphics card for encoding, whereas if you use X264, it's gonna use your CPU. Being that you're running a big flight sim, most likely you have a graphics card that's gonna be able to handle this. So pick one of those and uh, let's move on. Down here we have rate control. So we have different ones that we can use. Uh, lossless is gonna be the most intense and CBR is I find the best option to use because it gives a constant bit rate. And you have a couple other options in here, but I prefer to go with constant bit rate, which is CBR. So in order to talk about bit right here, I went to YouTube's help page and this is where they show you what bit rates they suggest. So a bit rate essentially is the amount of data that you wanna put through to your video. So when you're recording, if you have a low bit rate, it's gonna look all grainy. You wanna have a fairly high bit rate. And some people suggest having a really high bit rate, which can work. But I found when I upload a really high bit rate to YouTube, actually I get a lower quality image uh, when things are moving quickly. I don't know if this is because YouTube's compressing that and it's kind of working against me but it also has a longer upload time. So I've went back to uploading with YouTube's recommendation. So here's how to pick your bit rate. So first you have your resolutions down here. So pick the resolution you're gonna record in. If you have a monitor that's 1080p, pick 1080p. If you have a 2K monitor, pick this one or 4K. Then you're gonna slide over. If you're gonna be recording in 30 frames per second, then pick from this list here. But if you're gonna be recording 60 frames per second, which is what I recommend, Come over to this side. So for me, I'm gonna be recording at 30 megabits per second because I have a 2K monitor and I like to record at 60 frames per second. Audio bit rate, I don't worry about because I'm gonna go as high as I possibly can, which I'll show you that in a second here. So now that we've picked our bit rate, let's go in here, enter it in. 30 megabits per second is equal to 30,000 kilobytes per second or kilobits per second. So I'm gonna enter that in here, which I already have. Right down here, I have max quality. If you're having performance issues, then definitely lower this down and play with this and see if you can get rid of that performance issue. So hit apply and come up here to audio. And we're gonna set the first one here. If you're gonna be doing streaming, you can set this to 160. And then below that though, I want this as high as it can go. So 320 and 320, those are my two recording channels. One is gonna be a microphone, one is gonna be my desktop audio. If you only have one, if you're only recording desktop audio, then don't worry about the second one if you don't want. Um, same goes for these two checkboxes. If you're only going to record desktop audio, uncheck one of these, you'll need one. All right, so let's move down to the next tab here. So I like to have all these disabled, and that way I can kind of keep track of where my audio is coming from by using this down here, my different scenes. I'll show you that in a minute. On to video. So we have our resolution here, and you can go ahead and change this if you want, but I would change it to what your base resolution actually is. So what is your monitor resolution? Same with output resolution, put that as your monitor resolution. So down here, now this is for downscaling, so I'm not gonna worry about it. 
and uh, we're going to skip down to common FPS values. So let's change that to what you want. Um, essentially, I want mine to record at 60 frames per second. So that's what I'm doing. So when you go upload it to YouTube, uh, YouTube can actually play 60 frames per second. So that's kind of nice for the viewer. All right, so that's all on this. Let's go out of this, say OK. So now we're going to create a scene. I have this scene already created, but I'm going to create a new one just so you can follow along. So come down here to this plus sign and we're going to call this one well, scene two. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some inputs into this scene. So come down here to the plus sign, click on that, and we're going to add in a display capture. I like to use display capture. It's just a little less finicky than using game capture. And let's go to display two. So it's kind of hard to see right now, but there's actually a box here we have to look at. So I'm going to just shut off this. You can shut it down by pushing on the eye. That'll shut off that input. So that goes for mics or for display. So we have our, I have three displays here, but I'm going to pick this one. It's my 2K monitor. And it's the one we're currently recording on. And I'm going to allow it to capture my cursor. If you don't want that, then uncheck that box. Say OK. And we're going to come down here again. We're going to add in some mics. Actually, before we add in a mic, let's add in an output. So audio output capture. And let's call this desktop. Actually, I'm going to call it desktop three because I think I have a few of them. So come up here to device and select the one that's playing your audio from Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 or x -Plane. Of course, we could be setting this up for x as well. Um, so for me, I'm going to be using speakers, USB audio codec, and we're going to say OK. All right, so now I have my desktop audio and I have my display. So if you're not running a mic, this is all you need in this section here in the sources. Um, I'm going to show you how to set up a mic as well, but don't leave yet because there is another step after this. So first, let's add in our audio input and let's call this one mic five. All right, so come up here to device and choose your microphone. Mine is microphone USB audio codec. And I'm going to say OK to that. So now we have our mic, we have our desktop audio and our, our video. And, and now we have our video captured here. So the next thing we want to do is come in here, click on this little cog and go advanced pro audio properties. All right, so in advanced audio settings, what we're going to do is we're going to uncheck some of these boxes. What these boxes are, these are all tracks. So we have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Those are all tracks. And we have our audio device here, desktop audio, and our microphone here. So we're going to uncheck six, uncheck five, uncheck four, and we're going to leave three and two and one. So now if you don't have a microphone, you're going to want to probably uncheck three as well. You don't need to have this extra one, but this does have to line up with the settings that we were changing earlier. If you recall, I did set up, did keep one. I left one off the recording tracks, but we want them checked off because those will be going to our streaming track if we want to do streaming. And then number two, I don't want both the desktop and the mic going to my second track. I only want one. So we're going to uncheck the mic. So that first track, when it records, the first track is going to be my desktop audio. My second track, we're going to uncheck desktop. So now we only have mic. So we have both of them for streaming. Then we have our desktop audio for track number two. And track number three is going to be our mic. So we should have them separately so we can adjust them later on. Close that. Now you can come over here and you hit start to start recording. Now, if you're running Microsoft Flight Sim 2020, I suggest you start the game up. Have this running as well before you start Microsoft Flight Sim. Have this sitting in the background and then come over here and hit record either before you start Microsoft Flight Sim or once you're in the game and everything's running. I find usually it's just too much for the computer and things crash. So either start the recording before and edit it later or wait till you're all loaded up in the game and then hit start recording. So if you enjoyed this video, consider checking out the members area. With the platinum level, I'm going to be releasing videos about editing, recording and anything else that I've learned from growing my YouTube channel. In order to get access to this, you need to join the platinum membership. This will give you access to the exclusive content, plus it will give you early access to any future videos that I put on the public side of my channel. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.